Salim Ali helped the development of ornithology in India. For what did he help? He helped the development of ornithology. What is an ornithology? Ornithology means study of birds. Study of birds had never been done before systematically in India. He wanted the people to study about Indian birds systematically. So, he helped the development of ornithology in India. Although recognition came late, was he recognized early? No, people didn't recognize him early. Though he was recognized late, he received several honorary doctorates. I said to your children, we get doctorates after doing PhD. But these honorary doctorates are given for the merits, for the good qualities, for the achievements. Because of his achievements, he got many honorary doctorates and many awards. Numerous means many. So he got many honorary doctorates and many awards. In this paragraph, we will get to know about the awards he received. Which were those awards? He was awarded by Joy Gobindala Gold Medal by the Asiatic Society of Bengal in 1953. So, which was this first award? Joy Gobindala Gold Medal. It was awarded by Asiatic Society of Bengal in 1953. Then, he received honorary doctorates from the Aligarh University, Aligarh Muslim University, that was in 1958. And then from Delhi University in 1973. And again from Andhra University in 1978. See, people didn't recognize him early, but later they all recognized his achievements. Then he started to get many awards. And in again 1967, he became the first non-British citizen to receive the gold medal of the British Ornithologist Union. Non-British means he was not a British person. So, he became the first non-British citizen. Though he was not a British person, he received the gold medal of the British Ornithologist Union. From their union, he got one award. Did you get which are the awards he got? These awards are because of his achievements. Next paragraph. Salim Ali's writings and awards brought him large amounts of money. But he kept very little for himself, liberally handing out scholarships and grants to needy students. See how great he was. When he was working also, he didn't expect any salary. He expected only the expenses for his ornithological surveys. And after that also, he wrote many books. And because of the awards, he got large amounts of money. He got more money. What did he do? He kept very little for himself. Liberally handing out scholarships and grants to needy students. Students who wanted money for their studies or for their surveys. For those people, he liberally handed out the money. Next paragraph, Salim Ali donated his 1976 Paul Getty Wildlife Conservation Prize worth $50,000 to a conservation research fund at the BNHS. See how great he was. He got one prize. Which was that prize? In 1976, Paul Getty Wildlife Conservation Prize. He got Paul Getty Wildlife Conservation Prize in 1976. What was that prize? It was worth $50,000. Did he keep for himself? No. He gave it to a conservation research fund at the BNHS because he wanted others to use it to study. Writing letters was one of the Salim Ali's passions. We have many passions, right? Uh, my passion is to draw. Another person's passion maybe is to paint like that. So, what was his passion? 
His passion was writing letters. The setting up of the Bharatpur and Karnala bird sanctuaries, the decision not to destroy Kerala Silent Valley for the sake of the power project and many other similar measures were due to his powerful letters to prime ministers and forest officials. They wanted to destroy Kerala Silent Valley for the sake of a power project and many other similar measures. But because of the letter written by Salim Ali, they did not do it. And also, they set up Bharatpur and Karnala bird centuries because of his letters to the Prime Ministers and Forest Officials. Salim Ali also loved motorbikes. One passion for him was to write letter. And another one is to ride motorbikes. In 1950, he shipped his massive Sunbeam 500cc motorbike to Sweden. So, he rode his motorbike. Which was that motorbike? It was a massive Sunbeam 500cc motorbike. Means it was a very big motorbike, 500cc motorbike. He rode it to Sweden with his luggage strapped behind him. So he was carrying the luggage behind. It was strapped behind him. He rode into an ornithological conference in his bike. There was a conference. That conference was an ornithological conference. He rode into, means he moved into that ornithological conference in his bike itself. Startling the other delegates. There were other delegates also. Startling means surprised. He surprised other delegates because he rode his motorbike for that conference. After the conference, he rode through Europe meeting friends and watching birds. After that also, he continued riding his bike through Europe to meet his friends and also to watch birds. In France, Salim Ali was injured in a collision with a speeding truck. But the next morning, he got out of his hospital bed and repaired the bike himself. What happened in France? In France, he was injured. Why? Because of a collision with a speeding truck. But did he take rest? No. Next morning itself, he got out of his hospital bed. He was in a hospital, on a bed. But he got out of his hospital bed the next morning itself. And he repaired his bike. Because he had met with an accident. Some problems were there for that bike. He repaired that bike himself. Head bandaged. His head was bandaged. He kept a lunch appointment later that day. Though his head was bandaged, he kept a lunch appointment later that day. You just see how active he was. How passionate he was. Next paragraph. Until he was 87 years old, Salim Ali conducted major expeditions. Until which age children? Until his 87 years old. Just imagine, 87 years old means how old he was. At that time also, he was very active. He conducted major expeditions. Major expeditions means, expeditions means long journeys. He traveled to different places with a special purpose. So, expedition means long journeys for a special purpose. What was his special purpose? That was to study about birds, right? So, he travelled to different places until his 87 years old to study about birds. In 
1983, he spent four weeks in the exquisitely beautiful Namdapa National Park in Arunachal Pradesh. Where did he spend his days in 1983? In 1983, he spent four weeks. How many weeks? Four weeks in the exquisitely beautiful, very beautiful Namdapa National Park. Where is this Namdapa National Park situated? It's situated in Arunachal Pradesh. He spent his four weeks in 1983 in this national park. Two years later, he was planning to go to the Himalayas in search of the mountain quail, last seen in 1858, but suddenly fell ill and stayed back. So, two years later, what was he planning? Two years later, he was planning to go to the Himalayas. For what reason? In search of a mountain quail. It was seen in 1858. But suddenly fell ill. He wanted to go there to study about the mountain quail. But he fell ill. So he had to stay back. He used the time to finish one more book, The Fall of a Sparrow, his delightful autobiography. But did he waste his time? No, he used that time also. He used to finish one more book. So he wrote one more book. Which was that book? The Fall of a Sparrow. It was his delightful autobiography. What's the meaning of autobiography, children? It is the story of one's own life. Story of one's own life. If we write about other people, that is called as a biography. If we write about ourselves, that is called as autobiography. So, he wrote one autobiography. Name of that autobiography is The Fall of a Sparrow. He wrote it in 1858. One of Salim Ali's last wishes was to set up an ornithological institute in Mumbai. What was his last wish? That was to set up an ornithological institute in Mumbai. In April 1987, after his illness had been diagnosed as cancer, he flew to Delhi to convince the Prime Minister about the need for the institute. He wanted to set up an ornithological institute in Mumbai. But in 1987, in April, his illness had been diagnosed as cancer. Diagnosed means medically declared. What is that? Medically declared. His illness had been medically declared as a cancer. After it was declared as cancer, he flew to Delhi. Why did he fly to Delhi? To convince the Prime Minister. What did he want to convince? He wanted to convince regarding the need for the Ornithological Institute. Hospitalized on landing. But what happened? He landed in Delhi. But after the landing, he was hospitalized. He kept insisting on going to the seminar until the Prime Minister visited him and assured full support. But he was forcing them to take to him to Prime Minister to speak about the institute. He was insisting, force forcing. But, Prime Minister visited him and assured full support. Two months later, Salim Ali died. So, after this, after two months, Salim Ali died. In 1990, the Salim Ali Center for Ornithology and Natural History was established in Koimatur. His last wish was to establish one ornithological institute. 
So that happened in 1990 after his death. The Salim Ali Center for Ornithology and Natural History was established in Koyamathur.